As the sun rose on the Severn River outside of Annapolis, Jay Fleming, a professional photographer who grew up on this water, wanted to take Bay Bulletin on his working boat for a close-up of what he has spotted this summer. And it's almost touching the surface. The grass, way too high for any front lawn. Number one, it's the habitat for the fish, the crabs, all the different species that you know, use these grass beds as a nursery ground. A picture online brought Jay out with his gear to see for himself. The camera goes in a waterproof case. He puts on his snorkeling gear and goes in at Swamp Point and Brewer Point. Some of the most dominant species are of grass in the river, the horn pondweed, sago pondweed, which is this uh, more stringy type grass, and then the redhead grass, which is a more broadleaf grass. The underwater video shows the fish and crabs swimming in the grass. You know, it gives me the ability to show people um, what the river should look like and what the river used to look like. It's not just what Jay is seeing. A senior naturalist for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation says the Severn River is thriving. It's beautiful. This is actually the strongest year that most of us have seen on this river, this grass in places we haven't seen it for 40 years. John Page Williams took us to another spot, the community of Pines on the Severn. Homeowners took charge of building up a living shoreline with the help of a grant from the Chesapeake Bay Trust Fund and the restoration firm Underwood and Associates. This makes a direct contribution to underwater grasses being able to grow again. It's a natural shock absorber built about four years ago to prevent runoff in the river. What Jay is capturing with his camera is real because of the programs in place. What is so important for people to realize though is that it's working. Some of these investments that we have made in reducing air pollution, really in dealing with wastewater pollution in farm conservation practices, in shoreline protection and uh, preservation. John Page Williams says we've come so far since the grasses basically disappeared in the 1980s, but there's still more work to do. See, there's three schools right We here. spotted schools of Menhaden on our way over to see these clusters of dark false mussels. You know, really thriving in the river, and they're filtering the water just story. like an oyster would, and the result of them these filtering the, the water false. in yeah. such this volume is, is that we Large get clear water and then the grasses can rebound. From underwater and up above, the grass is greener on both sides. For Chesapeake Bay Magazine's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.